New at 6, the PennDOT secretary was expected to be in Pittsburgh today to meet with the autonomous vehicle companies and discuss some new guidelines for testing self-driving cars. It was a meeting in which Mayor Peduto wanted to participate, but the meeting was canceled. So where do things stand now? Lynn Hayes Freeland has the story. It has been a chilly relationship between the mayor and Uber. Findings of a fatal pedestrian accident in Arizona. Federal investigators say computers in the self driving Uber detected the pedestrian six seconds before impact but did not stop because the emergency braking was disabled. A few days later, Restart testing its fleet of self driving cars in Pittsburgh next month. Mayor Peduto was blindsided by the announcement. When information is released about what will happen on a public street that the public has never been notified, you know, there's, there's a failure there that needs to be resolved. The mayor insists that certain guidelines be met before driverless cars are on Pittsburgh streets. I want to be certain that the federal report is being addressed and that the shortcomings in software have been resolved. He also wants a 25 mile per hour restriction on driverless cars. But given that the federal investigation out of Arizona showed that the vehicle was able to see the person but not be able to stop, we know that there is a significant drop off between the fatalities that occur at 35 miles per hour in those that occur at 25 miles per hour. Mayor Peduto had planned to address his concerns at today's meeting. Instead, Secretary Richards plans to meet with the car companies privately. The mayor and other elected officials will also sit down with her soon. They want to be able to shape what state legislation regarding driverless cars ultimately looks like. While we're in this gray area, we want to be able to have the seat at the table to explain to Harrisburg what we want to see as our city streets are being used as their factory. That doesn't mean the city's relationship with Uber is contentious. I wouldn't say that. I would say it's more like uh, uh, a family fight uh, that sometimes becomes public, but for the most part, you just sort of work through it. We're, we're working with an industry that didn't exist five years ago. And it's an industry in which the mayor wants Pittsburgh to stay at the forefront. Just in the past year, over 8,000 jobs have been created in IT, in nearly 2,000 of them in robotics. Pittsburgh is back on a global stage. Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDK, TV News. We should make this note, Uber has a different description of its communications with the city and Mayor Peduto. Uber says it notified not only the city, but the county and the state of its intent to resume driverless testing in Pittsburgh by the end of June.